What's going on guys, Stefan here. Today I'm gonna to bring you my most requested video and that is how to get faster. And I just wanna announce that I have a speed program coming out soon. I announced it a few days ago on my Instagram, so if you aren't following that, be sure to give it a follow. I'll be releasing more details on that in the coming days, such as price and date of release. But it's gonna be an eight week exercise and sprinting program specifically designed to make you faster. It's gonna go over everything I talk about in this video and more in depth, including a specific two month plan. So be sure to follow my Instagram, be on the lookout for that. We're gonna break this down into three parts. The first part is gonna be your running mechanics, so basically your sprint technique. The second aspect is your resistance training, so your weight training and your plyometric training. And the third part is just going out and actually practicing your sprinting. I just wanna make a quick notice before we get into the rest of the video. This will work for everybody. Everybody can get faster. You may not become as fast as Cristiano Ronaldo or Mbappe. That may come down to genetics, but compared to how you are now, you can get faster. Everybody can. Having somebody such as a sprint or a performance coach observe you while you're running or even just analyzing video of yourself while you're sprinting is the easiest way to critique and adjust your technique and will be the quickest way to improve your sprint speed. Back when I was in college, we spent a ton of time on sprint mechanics. Every week before a fitness session, we would spend about a half hour going over everything from the knee drive to the proper arm swing to become as efficient as possible while sprinting. What a lot of players don't understand is that there is a science behind sprinting in order to become as fast as you can. If you look at the top Olympic sprinters in the world, everything from the bend in their elbow to how they swing their arms to which part of the foot they step with is analyzed by their coaches. For example, what I see with a lot of players is that they'll swing their arms side to side rather than forwards and backwards. While you're sprinting, you want all the force you produce going straight forward so you can achieve your top speed. So they're not running as efficient as they possibly can. And just making small tweaks in your running mechanics like how your arm swing makes a massive difference in your sprint speed. So go see a sprint coach and have them analyze how you run or use your camera look up some videos on YouTube of proper technique and critique yourself how you run makes a huge difference in your sprint speed and is a quick fix for a lot of players moving on to the second aspect we're going to talk about your training we're going to break this down into weight training and then plyometric training how fast you are is determined by how much force you're able to put into the ground every step and how much force you're able to put into the ground is determined by how strong you are so it should be no surprise that the stronger you get the faster you will become Doing big compound movements such as the squat and the deadlift are the best exercises to get faster because they use multiple muscle groups and focus on all out raw strength. And while the upper body is important when it comes to sprinting, your main focus should be your legs. Again, we want to focus on putting as much force into the ground as possible. So weight training works on how much force you're able to produce, but that's only one aspect of your training. Next we're going to talk about plyometrics. Plyometrics improve your rate of force development, so basically how fast you're able to put all that force down. Plyometric exercises where you go from producing no force at all to maximum force in an instant, such as a box jump or a standing long jump, are great ways to work on that rate of force development. Other plyometric exercises such as jumping lunges where you're absorbing the force as you come down and then as fast as possible producing more force to drive yourself back up are awesome ways to train. Going back to those Olympic sprinters, if you observe how they start, they go from absolutely nothing to all out force in an instant. If you look at them while they're running, they want the time of contact between their foot and the ground to be as fast as possible. Every single step they take, they want to produce as much force as they can in the quickest amount of time as they can. So you and another player are running after a ball in a game. If you are able to put down more force, which comes from that weight training, and able to put that force down faster, which comes from the plyometric training, you're gonna beat him to the ball. So doing weight training and plyometric training hand in hand is extremely important when it comes to getting faster. And lastly, in order to get better at sprinting, you actually need to go out and sprint. So work on that 40 yard dash, work on those 100 meter runs. The better you're able to tie everything together, so your sprint mechanics, the force you produce from weight training, and the rate of force development from the plyometrics, the faster you will become. And that's basically everything you need to know about getting faster. Breaking it down, it seems very simple, but just be consistent with it over time and you'll see awesome results. Like I said earlier, if you are interested in that eight week speed program I have coming out soon, be sure to head over to my Instagram. I'll have more details on that coming out over the next few days, such as price and date of release. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.